Hello, this is Matt with Mr. D, and today we are in the grade 5, module 2, and we're going to be talking about lesson 11 today. Our objective for today's lesson is to add mixed numbers with unrelated units. Some of the key questions we have, how do you decide which method to use when you add mixed numbers with unrelated units? How is adding mixed numbers with unrelated units similar to and different from adding them with related units? This lesson is originally built to be a gallery walk. We're going to go through the three stations and show some of the work that could have been shown. Here's station one. We're going to solve this problem two different ways and hopefully cover some of the ways or methods that you would have solved it. So here we have 5 and 7 ninths plus 3 and 2 fourths. We see that they are unrelated units. So that means that we are going to re need to rename these units. If I think about ninths and fourths, a good unit to rename these two into might be 36. So writing out these two fractions, can solve this multiple ways. The first way, I'm going to change these and rename these as 36. If I have 7 ninths, I would multiply by 4 over 4 to get 28. 36. If I have 2 fourths, I'm going to multiply by 9 over 9 to get 18. 36. If I rewrite my problem, I would now have 5 and 28, 36, plus 3, and 18, 36. One of the ways now to do this is to number bond 3 and 18, 36 into a friendly unit to add to 28, 36. We could write 8, 36, and 3 and 10 36. How this helps me is I can now add 5 and 28 36 plus 8 36 which would give me 5 and 36 36 which is 6 holes. I now can add in the 3 and 10 36 and that would give me 9 and 10, 36. Another way to solve this problem would be to see that 2 fourths can be composed into a fraction of 1 half. If I know that 3 and 2 fourths, I could divide by 2, divide by 2, that could be written as 3 and a half. If I have 5 and 7 ninths and three and a half, I now could create eighteenths with these two fractions and rename my ninths into eighteenths and my halves into eighteenths. Five and seven ninths times two times two would give us five and fourteen eighteenths plus three and one half times nine times nine and this would give me 3 and 9 eighteenths. In this method, I'm going to show the arrow way. If I'm starting with 5 and 14 eighteenths, I could jump 4 eighteenths. If I break apart 3 and 9 eighteenths into 4 eighteenths and 3 and 5 eighteenths, I can jump plus 4 eighteenths to get to 6. That took care of this one right here. Now I would just need to jump 3 to get to 9. And then I could jump 5 eighteenths to get to 9 and 5 eighteenths. If you remember, on the last problem, I got 9 and 10. 36, which is equivalent to the sum I just got. So these are two ways that you could have solved this problem. They are not the only ways you could have solved, but two ways 
that you could have created like units in order to add. The second station in this gallery walk says write an equation with unrelated units to match the work shown. We know that we have two add-ins. The first one is easy to see. We know we have 9 and 24 thirtieths. Now the jumps on the number line are going to show my other add-ins. So all of these terms are going to show what I'm adding together. So it's going to be 8 and then if I add 6 thirtieths and 19 thirtieths that would be 25 thirtieths. Now it says write an equation with unrelated units. Right now we have related units and we have like units. So we have thirtieths and thirtieths. So we need to figure out how to change those into different units that are unrelated. If I use my composition, I can divide these fractions by the same number and get different fractions. On this first one, 9 and 24 thirtieths, I see that I could divide by 6. So that would give me 9 and 4 fifths. On my 8 25ths, or 8 25 thirtieths, I see that I could divide by 5. 25 divided by 5 would be 5, and 30 divided by 5 would be 6. So this fraction could be written as 5 6. Now, this gives us two unrelated units. 9 and 4 fifths, our fifths are unrelated to my 8 and 5 6. So that solves the work shown. If I would have to solve this addition problem, I would change these back into thirtieths in order to add them back up. In this process, you kind of had to work backwards in order to create two different fractions with unrelated units. The third station gives us some creativity. It says create a word problem to match the expression. In this video, I'm going to give you pointers for how you could write a word problem here. We know that we have unrelated units. 7 and 1 third is unrelated to 6 and 11 tenths. So we don't need to change those fractions at all. In order to create a word problem, we just need to create context for these two fractions. The first number, 7 and 1 third, we need to create an, a, a quantity that represents 7 and 1 third something. And then add that 7 and 1 third to 6 and 11 tenths. That is going to be the basis for our word problem. I'm going to show you two examples you could write to solve a problem like this and create a problem like this. Here is just one example of what you could have written. The fifth graders fill seven and one third boxes with canned food donations. The fourth graders fill six and eleven sixteenths. Oh, I've been saying tenths the whole time, that's sixteenths. What is the total number of boxes of canned food donations that the fourth and fifth graders fill? This would require us to add up these two numbers, 7 and 1 third plus 6 and 11 sixteenths in order to find the sum. This would satisfy creating a word problem to match this equation. Now this has been Math with Mr. D. Thank you guys for joining me today.